Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Now in this video I'm going to talk about in my opinion the best passing offense in the game. <laughs> passing defense in Madden 20. Now this is out of many different playbooks or rather this formation is in many different playbooks but I know for sure that it's in the Jets uh, defense, it's in the Miami Dolphins defense and it's also in the New England Patriots defense. I would personally recommend it to get into the uh, Miami Dolphins defense for this because it has the best compilation of other formations but Jets and Patriots are fine too now let's look at what we have here I'm currently in the uh, Miami Dolphins defense now my order was that I would go with our cover for drop and DB sting to bus is the play that I want to mainly come out in I always come out in flipped now before I'm going to get into the actual play in this video Please remember, remember to do hit the subscribe button and also make sure to hit the like button. It would help me out a ton. It would make me really, really happy. And who doesn't want to see me happy? Like, I want to be happy. You hopefully want me to be happy too. If you don't want me to be happy, that's fine. Then just don't hit the subscribe button. Now, but I would recommend you always come out in DB Steam to bus and then audible to other place if needed. So let's do that. DB Steam to bus. There you go. On offense, I'm going to come out in the West Coast offense. I'm just quickly going to set my audibles just to uh, have the ability to audible to other places. Now, I'm going to come out in my receiver post, but that's not really the focus of this video. What I would recommend you to do is I would set, make the setup like I did explain in the last video. Right there, I'm going to check it out. I would blitz all linebackers, QB contain, and do this. So it looks like this, and then audible to cover three, so that's square r1 now sadly there's a little bit of a tail if you don't want the, these two cbs to move back what you can do is i'll just reset that up click on them and make them do like this little jump thing you can do that with any player on the defense and then audible to a cover three so they don't move then what we want to do is you want to qb contain once again and the reason for this is really, really simple. If I send out five routes, this cornerback is going to get in guaranteed. So this is a four-man blitz against no running back pr uh, protection. And if the running back... Sorry, let me just... That's set up. Right, there he's on. He, make sure this cornerback right here is on the QB contain. If he's not, the blitz is not going to work. Um, if we have something like this, where we have the running back opposite of the blitzing cornerback, this blitz is also going to come in, or it should come in, pretty much a guaranteed sack. Also against play action blocking. Like, I personally don't understand why anybody would ever, I don't have a PA blocking right here, or oh, I do right here. Um, I'm just going to quickly audible to a PA blocking. Oops, right there. Against the PA blocking, this is also a guaranteed. No, it's not. Never mind that. <coughs> for uh, this didn't work for one reason. I had those two guys blocked, so let's just send them out quickly on the route. So there you go. Now this should come in. Once again it does not. I really don't know why this doesn't come in. Trust me against most play actions. Let's just say that this comes in almost guaranteed. Never mind. I want I want to get it to work for you guys. I know that it works on, in online play. So I'm really surprised right now that it's not working. In just regular okay probably need to pass commit so I pass committed right here now it should come in now what is up with this uh, guys I'm really I'm really sorry for why this is not working I if you guys have ever seen me run this bits online this gets in consistently trust me like it's just not even fair right there boom it just gets in easily so against it non blocked running back or if the running back is on the running back blocking is on the opposite opposite side of the blitzer uh, then 
Oops. Is he running base on the opposite side of the blitzer? Then there's just no way for this to get picked up. No. Let's turn around. Thank you. Now, then I'm just going to audible quickly to cover three. And let's look at some coverage adjustments that we can make. I would personally always man up McCordy on this dude. Put the, him right here out in a cloud flat. And then... No. Yes, actually. And then I would use Devin McCordy. Devin McCordy is pretty fast, so this should work. And just the only thing that you really need to be aware, I personally then like to press. Press and put my guys in outside quarters. Th which for square is triangle, triangle, then I press the square button. Then right stick to the left. The same triangle, triangle, circle. Le right stick to the left. And then the only thing that you really need to be afraid of is a cover three beater so just make sure to sprint back there so that if they want to throw a cover three beater there's just no way to throw it now how, why do i like this play so much oops there are actually many different reasons why um yeah i'm just quickly going to make these adjustments actually you can I uh, even run it like this. Yeah, I'm just screwing up my adjustments right now, really badly. You can also run it like this. I would personally recommend you to always adjust your coverage shell. But why I like this so much is because it has a good blitz and also it has great, great shells. So once the initial pit bli uh, blitz is picked up, there's probably not a high like. A high likelihood of them getting too much time in the pocket. So I'm going to show you this right here. Actually, this was against seven man blocking and four man just got in. So run this splits every time. You make sure to go use it. I mean, this, this is just straight up humming at this quarterback. Now, what are the weak spots of this coverage? A play that's very good against this is deep corner all you need to do for this uh, deep corner to beat it is streak and corner out this dude and then pretty much just wait in the pocket because this is going to get right over there if i roll out that's even an e that's even easier of a throw so corner routes are deadly against this so what i would personally recommend you to do against corner routes if i want to defend corner routes i um make is a shell like this and then I would probably man up the solo wide receiver on this linebacker I use I usually sub in safeties right here I would man up this guy right here put a high tower in the in his zone and then I would use her this Devin McCordy now this is going to defend the corner route really well or it should because practice mode is a little bit funky so yeah I don't want to make guarantees for for those things actually never mind it, it's it's terrible like it truly is terrible i'm sorry i did not expect this to be this bad like i thought that it would cover uh, pretty well turns out it doesn't so let me just make these adjustments again so be aware of corner us i would most of the time i would just use them and put this dude right here in the middle read, that's probably a better way of defending this. You can man him up on the in route or you can put him in the middle read. And then press once again. Put out outside quarters because they can't bomb you with a streak if you have outside quarters out there. And then yeah, just use the play. That's all there is to it. So let's snap the ball right here. I'm way too late. Damn it, I used that horribly. Never mind then. I'm going to attempt this one more time. I've I'm professional man players running this defense. I'm just really screwing up on my defensive gameplay right here. So last time outside quarters out there. Nice and easy. Um 
yeah, snap the ball and then run over there and cover this corner route. Now, this is one tip that I would give you guys. Don't man up corner routes this year, especially ones that they put out on the field manually. I would try to get a zone to play that. And maybe something like this will work. I'm not sure. I'm going to try this one more time because I don't feel like this is going to... Uh, this should get beat this badly. Actually, it is getting beat this badly. I mean, I just tried it earlier. It didn't work. Why do I expect it to work now? Okay. Um, Yeah. Corner outs, deadly this year. Really, really deadly. So. But, in general... What you can do is you can do something like this where this where the dude is backed off a little bit. This should defend it actually. And then all you need to defend as a user is the in route. So let's do this right here. He's covering that. And then boom go here. And just use it. Okay. So that's how to defend that. This is pretty much the only weak spot against like it's standard route combos this defense is going to really exceed when you have somebody that's new playing this defense because that just zones all over the field it's got a good blitz in my opinion it's very effective so just overall a very very good coverage now make sure to always adjust this is one thing that i actually want to talk about make sure to be really really unpredictable on defense Man up different gu different guys. Like go something like this. No. Like this. Maybe do that sort of a look. Right here. Just make sure that you're really unpredictable on defense. I would probably man up the on circle rather. That's like a better setup. And then just watch this blitz eat. So my only responsibility is right here. And then we're actually going to get a fumble. Also something that's very good. Whenever you see that your blitz is coming in against like only uh, against only five man blocking. What I would recommend you to do is as soon as you see the blitz coming in. Click on the defender and spam R1. It's really really likely that your guy is going to force a strip sack fumble. It's this year that this is really out of control in my opinion like it's happens it's hap it's happening way too much like right there I just easily got it on my second attempt so make sure to go try that you can get really really uh really really cheap fumbles that way okay that's pretty much all there is about this coverage you can run a similar blitz out of cover 2 I'm going to show this in the next video actually um just if you were curious so if you don't always want to come out in this cover 3 look, you can also come out in against this with a cover f uh, cover 2 look. Like this. Or something different. Yeah, also what is really, really good this year, come out in a cover 3 shell. Like I'm going to redo this. Press and then make it a cover. Make it a cover two look really really powerful stuff because your opponent is going to look at the uh, play after the play is over it's going to be like cover three what that, that looked more like a kind of like a cover two to me so you can really confuse your opponent that way this is all i have for the video thank you very much for watching this video if you found this video helpful make sure to leave me a like and a subscription down below if you like clicking buttons and subscribing to things then Please click the button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I would really, it would mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching this video. I'm out though. Make sure to go check out the next video where I'll show you a nice, nice, nice cover two blitz with only four peeping blitz, people blitzing once again. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. And also, and also, th something very important that I forgot to mention. Here's a video, here's a video. Here's the subscribe button. Make sure to click it. You'll love it. You'll love it. If you like my videos, if you like this video, you're going to enjoy the other videos that I do. I'm out. For the second time, I'm going to say.
Peace out.